Hey, this is Melanie Johnson. I'm here with Dean Lindsay at the Habitude Warrior Conference here in Dallas, Texas. Jen is manning the camera for me. Thank you very much, Jen very Foster. Stale. Stale. <laughs> yes, my business partner for Elite Online Publishing. So Dean is a speaker. He's an author. He's written two books. He has another one on the way. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about what you, um, you have the net, cracking the networking code. Yep. Tell us a little bit about that. Cracking the networking code. Well, it's um, it's about it's the four steps to building priceless business relationships. The C, the O, the D, and the E. Uh, really jazzed with the book. You can find it all over the place. Uh, the forward's written by Jay Conrad Levinson, Gorilla Marketing. Uh, endorsement on the top cover from Brian Tracy. Ken Blanchard. Oh, interesting thing about Ken Blanchard. When I went to Ken Blanchard and asked him for the endorsement, uh, they gave me the endorsement, but then the uh, his secretary said, Dean, we'll let, let you know uh, the publisher won't let any of um, Mr. Blanchard's endorsements go on your front cover. And I quickly sent back, don't worry. It'll be on the back at the top. So his endorsement's the first endorsement on the back cover. I thought that was pretty cool. So she trusted me to, you know, not put it on the front. But it's it's front yeah. cover worthy. I promise you that. Okay. So what is the biggest tip, like the takeaway from that book? Uh, I'd say it's really the C. You know, the the C, the O, the D, and the E. But the C is create personal curb appeal. And in a nuts a nutshell, uh, creating personal curb appeal is the belief and the commitment that you can and you will find ways to be progress for the people that you meet. And that means they have to actually view you as progress and not change. Terrific. So you've been in the audience with us as yeah, well. Yeah. What are what are some of the big takeaways that you had here at the conference so far at Eric uh, Eric Swanson's conference, Habitude Warrior? Well, you know, I, ha I have notes. I could I could look I could refer to my notes. Um, you know, it, it reconfirmed quite a bit of things. It also uh, helped me realize there's still so much more to learn, so much more to grow that we're never, ever done. Uh, Eric is a dynamo. Uh, yeah. Anybody who uh, doesn't know Eric needs to uh, needs to connect with him. Uh, the Habitude Warrior Conference is, uh, uh, it's, it, it, it continues to move. I mean, you know, every every 15 minutes there's a new person. So yeah. so it's just, uh, it's just, it's very rock and roll. And for the people that are watching in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, there we got another one coming coming up in June 9th yep. and 10th so I and don't reckon day. you're here now so come to the one in June <laughs> and the days have gone so fast when they started oh it's gonna be from 9 till maybe 6 I thought oh my gosh that's a long day and I looked at my watch and it was 445 I thought oh my gosh it just flew by yeah. so the speakers are really interesting they're fascinating you're learning a lot you're constantly writing a bunch of great tips down mm -hmm. so we highly recommend if you didn't make it this time make it next time and then the one they always continue to say that you know the notes are important but really it's about the action what are you actually going to do what are you going to choose to implement and you're not going to implement at all and you should really you, you really can't you got to go back and figure out what does what you know we want to try and try it and then go back and look at those notes again in a couple weeks and, and keep fiddling forward I love that fiddle forward fiddle forward and implement with wisdom with I should wisdom. I, since I'm saying it out loud to people not like just willy-nilly fiddle forward but right. with yeah with some guidance thanks Dean appreciate it